Hey, what's up y'all? Hope you're having a great week and I hope you've been enjoying the multiple uploads I've been doing. I've been having a little bit of fun challenging myself and I hope that you guys have kind of been enjoying the real-time storytelling because I enjoy doing that. One of the things that I get to do right now is actually play hand model. I don't know if you guys knows, but part of what I do being here at a lawn care nut is I am the official lawn care nut hand model and I'm gonna be today hand modeling our 0020 Dithiapir product. For those of you that need a fall pre-emergent, I had this ordered up for my friends at Sunnyland and this has got 20% potash in it. We'll talk about that in a minute, but the main reason you use it is to prevent poa annua, chickweed, hairy bitter crest, henbit, you know, all those kind of fall or winter annuals that will be germinating now. You want to get this down prior to soil temperatures hitting 70 degrees. I've been sending emails out about this and talk about it on the podcast and everything else. So the other thing though is, is I had them juice this up with 20% potash. And the reason I did that is because we're coming out of summer. And one of the best ways to help your lawn recover is a little bit of potash or potassium content. So figured if you're going to be putting your pre-emergent down, you might as well be putting down a little potash at the same time. It's four pounds per thousand is the rate I'm recommending. So you can kind of do the math there and see how much it covers. So, so I hope if you need that, you can click the link in the description below and check that out on our website, thelawncarenut.com. And with that, let's get back to the real-time lawn care action. So I made this video for a couple reasons. The first to illustrate to you that many times you have to break rules. And, and I broke two rules here. And one is, is that zoysia grass should be grown at two inches or less in height. And I'm up to four. And that's just because of all the long stretches of rain we've had. I haven't been able to do my every three to four day mow like I like. I've only been able to mow every seven, sometimes eight or nine days. And therefore the grass has gotten too tall. So I've let it get unmanageable, like growing my hair out a little longer than I should. And, and now I need to start taking it back down to the ideal conditions. But I wanted you to know, we all have to break rules sometimes. The second rule I broke, of course, is I'm mowing a wet lawn, but again, it's been seven days and I can't let it go longer for the aforementioned reasons. And so I had to break a rule and mow the lawn wet. Now, one good thing here is I had a subscriber and I can't remember his name. He commented on a video a couple weeks ago, asked me to show how the Time Master does on the Zoysia. And you can see even here when it's wet, it mulched great, no clumps powered right through. Of course, I did end up with a little bit of mess in the end from the wet mow. And I'll show you that coming up here. Now I also mowed my St. Augustine grass on this very same day and it did not fare so well, as well as many other St. Augustine grass lawns that have been super rain drunk for way too many days. I'll show that footage in that video a little later on this week. With that, I'm Alan Hayne, the Lawn Care Nut. I hope this video has been at least fun for you 
and entertaining in some way. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the lawn.